What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a big box good. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at the New Balance suede leather sneakers in black I picked up at Saks off fifth for $54.99 down from $129.99. Out of five stars, these shoes get zero out of five stars out of zero customer reviews, but they do come in two different colorways other than the black, which we have in front of us here today. They do come in a tan and navy blue. They also range between sizes seven and 14. Today, we're gonna to be doing an unboxing and a first impressions as well as a try on. I'm basically gonna take you around the shoe, show you what features it has, what I like about it, what I dislike about it. And then at the end, I'm gonna try it on and see how it fits. We're gonna see what it looks like on the foot, uh, how comfortable it is to walk around in, what you would pretty much want to style this shoe in. I'll pretty much give you a good idea. As you can pretty much see here, I did pick these up at Saks Off Fifth on clearance. You can tell they're on clearance a, because they were $54.99 down from $129.99, but you'll actually also notice the box here does not come with a top. Uh, we'll go ahead and take these out of the box here. They're in really fabulous condition here. Uh, as you can see, they are just a little bit more formal than they are casual, and that's what actually differentiates these sneakers from other sneakers on this channel. Usually when we look at sneakers on this channel, we're talking about Nike, adidas sometimes yes i have shown new balance on here but for the most part we're looking at running shoes and training shoes right stuff that you would wear outside on a run or a walk or to the gym for example or i think you'll notice first and foremost that it's this pretty thin sole now you can get a court shoe uh, with a little bit thicker of a sole than this but for the most part it'll be flat and this sole is flat too at where the sole meets the body of the shoe. It almost looks like a Sperry topsider. It's sort of this thick, robust, sort of rope-like stitching. It's very thick and would actually probably ensure that these last quite a long time, that this sole doesn't come detached from the body of the shoe, for example. Uh, if you actually look at the collar on the inside of the shoe here, it's a really nice uh, leather piece that goes around the ankle here. It's also actually pretty smooth. So I'm actually pretty curious to see how these will wear on the back of your heel, for example. I was actually a little bit uh, disappointed that I could not find these in the navy blue and tan colorway. I think the shoe would also look great in a red colorway and maybe a lighter blue, like a royal blue, for example. Laces on a running shoe, for example, uh, are just a little bit more loosely threaded. These are very closely knit laces. Uh, they're kind of hard and a little bit stiff, uh, which makes them just a little bit more prone to probably snapping and breaking like a dress shoe lace. But where they do differ from a complete dress lace is the fact that they are just a little bit thicker than a typical pair of dress laces. But then again, they are thinner in diameter than a pair of uh, athletic sneaker laces, for example. There's also really beautiful stitching that not only gives it character, but just gives it a really complete, more robust look. Uh, this shoe's actually pretty flexible, as you'll see, uh, meaning you could go for long walks around the city with this. Uh, not quite sure that this is something you'd wanna run in. Uh, what I actually wanna point out that is really standing out to me is this beautiful leather insert here. It's actually not as cushiony as like a Dr. Scholl's is, for example. It doesn't have any formations on the inside that actually provide support, but it is cushiony to the touch. It is soft and it does feel like it would actually conform to your heel and the front of your foot and the midfoot. And then last but not least, if we look at the sole of the shoe here, the tread underneath, you can see that it's just rows and rows of New Balance logos. They're actually sort of raised off the sole and then in between each New Balance piece of treading is empty space. So what I really like is this New Balance logo that is suede, but underneath you'll see etched out is leather bits. You also get really nice stitching around the collar of the shoe here. You can actually see it's kind of puffy here. That's because there is extra padding here as where if you look at the heel, or the side of the shoe, for example, there's less padding. That's because it's not really needed there. Uh, from the front of the shoe, you can see that there's beautiful stitching around 
the front of the laces here. And actually this stitching you see at the front of the laces is just a continuation on from the New Balance logo stitched down at the side of the shoe. And then if we go around to the inside of the shoe here, you can pretty much see that you get the New Balance logo on the inside. And then that same exact stitching that we showed you on the opposite side, uh, and last but not least, what I actually want to point out, what I actually forgot to mention, is this New Balance logo on the back. It's almost sort of like a silverish tone, but it is just dark enough that it does uh, blend in nicely with the rest of the shoe here to, again, continue on with that sort of stealthy, streamlined, conservative, athletic look. Uh, but where it does have a couple of takebacks, where this shoe is definitely a maybe a B-grade type of shoe as compared to if you might have bought this directly from New Balance themselves, is actually having to do with the suede itself. Now, I'm not sure if maybe these shoes got damaged uh, while people were trying them on and off at Saks All Fifth. These have been on clearance for probably a couple of weeks now. You'll see that the New Balance logo has this white spot through it. It's almost like a stain. And then if we look at this shoe here, you'll pretty much see that the logo is spotless, right? So. Like I said, yeah, just a mix between a really nice sneaker and a really formal shoe that you could pretty much wear with just a pair of shorts or a pair of jeans and maybe even just a little bit more like with a nice uh, sport coat, for example. Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and try these on, see how they fit and see what they look like on my foot. I've got a nice pair of jeans on, a hat, just a casual t-shirt. Uh, I might even just go and get my sport coat just to show you what that would look like potentially. Uh, the sport coat that I have is not something you would wear out to like a formal restaurant, but uh, yeah, let's just look at it and I'll pretty much show you uh, what is going on in my mind. So let's go ahead and get this shoe on the foot and see how it feels. Okay, so here we are, we're on the couch. We're gonna try these shoes on. One thing I wanna point out momentarily before we get started is I am a size 11, an 11 and a half, 12. It really depends on the type of shoe and the brand of shoe uh, that I can pretty much get away with either an 11 with. Uh, usually when I look at running shoes and athletic shoes, stuff that I'm gonna wear to the gym or out for a run or a hike or a walk, for example, uh, I try to go to something a little bit smaller, something that's really gonna fit on my foot snugly, right? But with this, I'm not quite sure that I would want to wear this for a walk or a run or to the gym. Uh, this is, you know, around town and a pair of shorts, a nice pair of jeans, basically with what I'm wearing here now, but it will offer a little bit more support while also looking stylish and sort of athletic. Uh, it does have a streamlined look. It's not a wide diameter shoe. I've actually found out recently in previous videos that I do tend towards a more wider shoe, uh, but this shoe should fit fine. It's a nice leather upper, so it should conform to my foot. It should feel pretty comfortable as well. That being said, this is a size 12, if I haven't mentioned that already. Uh, I can get away with wearing a 12, and this one shouldn't be a problem because, like I said, it is just a little bit more casual. Uh, it's not something that you're really gonna have to worry as much about your foot sliding around in and causing knee problems, for example. Though if you do have knee problems, I would probably advise still getting a shoe that uh, fits your foot perfectly, right? But I don't have knee problems really, so yeah, let's go ahead and try these on and see how comfortable they are. These actually look pretty stylish on me for someone my age. I think that's actually important that I mention that. I am 25 years old. Uh, initially, upon buying these shoes, I was thinking, you know what, these would look great if I was like 30. Uh, even though I did mention earlier that I do tend towards a wider diameter shoe, uh, these actually fit great. They're not protruding out of the side of the shoe. Uh, they don't feel tight. Uh, like I was mentioning earlier, the uh, back of the shoe actually is kind of rigid and hard. It is more formal in that regard, but uh, even though they are sort of athletic sneakers in a way, uh, like I did say, they are casual, but uh, there is no openings like in a mesh material, for example. They are just kind of closed off. It's a leather suede upper so there's no uh you know air coming through directly not that these don't breathe but let's go ahead and stand up in them here uh they actually look great right so these are just kind of a pair of skinny jeans they're kind of tight around the ankle and around the bottom part of the leg uh, usually when you put shoes on uh, they're 
pretty comfortable. They offer plenty of support. Uh, usually I wear flip-flops around, so these are definitely much more supportive than flip-flops, uh, but they are still casual, which I like, and they don't look goofy on me like wearing a pair of uh, running sneakers would look, for example, with a pair of jeans. These definitely look a little bit more dressier, but they are still casual and they're comfortable too. So I'm really happy about that. Uh, just momentarily, as you can see here, uh, they are size 12 and I would probably benefit here with going for a size 11. Now I did say that, you know, I can pretty much get away with wearing a size 12, but not with these. So that just goes to show that every shoe you have does run differently in terms of size. And yeah, as you can see here, there's just a lot of material left over at the front of the shoe. Uh, but that being said, uh, where my toes do cut off, as you can see, they're not sticking out through the front of the shoe at all, which means these are pretty comfortable and should fit you well too. Just definitely try them on because I think a 12 is probably just a little bit too big for me. Anyways, guys, that has been an unboxing and first impressions and try on of the New Balance suede leather sneakers in black. I picked up at Saks off fifth for $54.99, down from $129.99. These shoes don't get any stars or any customer reviews, but because I did pick them up at Saks off fifth, that does make them a big box good. I really do like these shoes. Like I was saying from the first impressions and try on, they have this structured look and feel to them. That is mainly to do with the fact that this back heel piece is actually kind of stiff and rigid. It's hard like a formal dress shoe is, for example. But I think as you can tell, it does have this athletic casual look. A, because it does bend nice and flex nice, which means you can run around in this, you can walk around town in this. Uh, but it is suede, so it doesn't look as formal as a polished leather shoe is. And last but not least, what I really actually disliked about this shoe were some of the deficiencies these had. Uh, I think had you bought these from New Balance themselves, they probably would have been a little bit better of quality, but uh, with these, you know, being that they were from Saks Off Fifth and probably just due to the fact that people were trying them on and off constantly throughout the past couple of months, uh, there are some spots, some bald spots in the suede on these sneakers. Uh, for the most part, these shoes are really nice. Uh, just really nice attention to detail. Great character. I love the fact that because they are a suede leather upper uh, and not a mesh upper like other sneakers, uh, sometimes, you know, when I go out and it's raining out or if it's a bad muggy day out, uh, I will wear sneakers just in case it rains because you know, walking around in flip-flops, for example, in the rain is never fun. Uh, so always a pair of sneakers and a pair of jeans and a nice shirt. Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this unboxing and first impressions. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more content like this, hit that like button, subscribe. Also, be sure to check out our merchandise store. The link is in the description below. Whatever proceeds uh, come from that channel will go directly into this channel and I will use it to buy more interesting items to review and show you guys. So when you go out and shop for things, you can make a better, more informed decision. Anyways, guys, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and close out this unboxing and first impressions and try on video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button, subscribe. Once again, my name is John. Thank you so much again for tuning in. I will see you in the next one.